Good morning, everyone. Welcome to our morning inspiration, July 2nd, 2024. Our reading today comes to us from Isaiah chapter 25, reading verses 8 to 9. And it says, He will swallow up death in victory, and the Lord God will wipe away tears from off all faces. And the rebuke of his people shall he take away from off all the earth, for the Lord hath spoken it. And it shall be said in that day, Lo, this is our God, we have waited for him, and he will save us. This is the Lord, we have waited for him, he will be glad, and we will be glad and rejoice in his salvation. Amen. And you know, the first thing that jumps out at me in this text is that we live in a world where we are surrounded by death. We are surrounded by different kinds of sufferings. And sometimes it becomes so overwhelming that our heart aches within us and sometimes it seems like it's almost impossible to to bear all of these things to bear losing our loved one losing our friends see them suffer see ourselves suffer it is sometimes so overwhelming that sometimes our heart is so heavy it's so burdening but i am glad for this text this morning because this text gives us hope hope that one day one day very soon death will be swallowed up into victory in fact i will go to tell you that god has already gained the victory over death hell and the grave and so in spite of the amount of death that we are surrounded with every day. You and I, we don't have to be afraid of death. We don't have to be afraid of dying because God, when he rose that bright Sunday morning, he gained a victory over death. And that is why those who are following God, those who are a friend of God, those who are walking in the righteousness of God, if and when they should die, they still will live again because of that victory that Jesus gained when he rose that morning. And so death is swallowed up into victory. So this was a prophecy that was being made prior to Jesus' resurrection. Because this is from Isaiah, Old Testament. And so he was telling us that, look here, one of these days, you, don't, you won't have to be afraid of death. Not that there was any need to be afraid of death then. Because remember, we serve the giver of life and death. And so God is able to take and give life. And so if God is able to take and give life, it therefore means that what? You have no need to fear. But this was just a reassurance to tell us that it might look hopeless now. But don't you worry yourself because what? One of these faithful day, God is going to make it all well. And it comes right down to, to us today. God will make it all better by and by. He is going to wipe away all the tears from our faces. When he comes again, Revelation tells us that he will wipe away the tears from our eyes. There will be no more sickness, death, pain, suffering. All of these things will pass away. Pass away. And what? All things would have been made new. And so we have the assurance that God can and will make it better. So I know it's never an easy thing when we lose our loved ones to the cold, bitter hands of death. But we can live with that hope that one of these days, 
if they have been faithful, because that's important for us to know, if they have been faithful and we also remain faithful, then we will see them again. In fact, we will live with them in heaven. So let us not lose hope. And the good thing about it is that when God returns and make all of this a reality, when he burst the eastern sky to take us to that new place in heaven, we can sing with joyful hearts and say, this is our God. Lo, we have long waited for him. He has come to save us. He will save us. His promises are about to fulfill. His promises is about to be fulfilled because here he is in the clouds. And so those who have, those of us who have been faithful to God will look up with rejoicing because what we have, we now see our salvation in front of our faces. And now we can go home with him to live with him in eternity. So I encourage somebody this morning continue to hold on i know the pain sometimes is overwhelming but don't lose hope one day god is gonna make it all better and i know you might be saying well you know it's easier said than done because sometimes the devil like to make us think negative thoughts and make us feel worse than we need to feel but that blessed hope that God has promised us will become our reality. You and I just need to be faithful. So may God continue to help you to hold on, help me to hold on, and help us that we will remain faithful, faithful until the very end. God bless you, and God continue to keep you. Amen.